Hello children, you all must have seen and played with dogs and their puppies, cat and kittens, isn't it? Children, here you can see this picture of animals with their babies. Let's write names of the baby animals. First one. Horse, baby is called foal. Second, cat, baby, kitten. Third, hen, baby, chick. Then below, we have swan, baby, signet, kangaroo. Its baby is all, always found in its pouch. And its baby is called Joy. And this one is Frog. And we learned about its baby in our earlier chapter. It is called as Tadpole. Let's start a new chapter. Chapter 4. Reproduction in animals. Now, what do you mean by reproduction and why is it important? Reproduction is the process by which an organism produces its offsprings or babies or young ones and in a simpler way, we can say creation of a copy of same thing. So, living things reproduce to give birth to babies of their own kind. Now, why is it so important? It is important to continue life on earth. Children, you have been learning about living things, isn't it? Let's list the different characteristics of living things. I know you have made a big list starting with living things grow, living things respire, living things move, living things respond to the stimuli, Living things reproduce. Now, living things reproduce, isn't it? So, today we will learn about how living things reproduce. Types of reproduction. Animals reproduce in two ways. One, by laying eggs. Two, by giving birth to babies. Some animal babies look similar to their parents when they are born. For example, cats, dogs, cows and human beings. Some animal babies look very different from their parents when born. They start resembling their parents as they grow. For example, butterflies and frogs. Let's start with animals that lay eggs. Animals such as birds lay eggs to reproduce. These eggs need to be kept warm till they hatch. Now, what do you mean by hatch? Hatching is a process by which an egg is broken and a chick is born. Once the eggs hatch, the young ones come out. Birds build nests to lay eggs and raise their Young ones. 
insects, reptiles and amphibians also lay eggs to reproduce. Children, you all must have seen an egg either in a picture or in real. So you all know how it looks like from outside. Today we will learn how it looks like from inside. Now there is an activity if you want to do you can try it at home. Take a shoe box, cut a hollow space in the lid to place an egg, place a lid torch upright in the box to observe the egg. This is what you will observe. Now with this we will learn about structure of an egg. An egg has a thin but hard outer covering called the eggshell. Now this eggshell which is hard, why it is hard? To protect its inner soft parts. Inside the eggshell there is a white jelly like substance called as albumin.